Welcome to Saw. So hey, this is Saw Hammer Supply. <laughs> uh, welcome to Claw Hammer Supply. We show you how to make beer while having fun with your friends. Today, we're actually talking about hop water. Kind of like beer, but kind of not like beer. In another video, I actually made hop water. I bottled some, I kegged some. We're going to taste both of those in this video. I have Ross and Emmett here to help me out. I'm Emmett. I've been buying this hop water from the store. Uh, and then I just, it hit me the other day, Jesus, man, this stuff is so expensive. What's okay. that go that, for? That's pizza. I've had over 40 pizzas in the last 30 days. This is $9 per four pack. Long story short, I made five entire gallons of hop water. It was less than $8 when you don't count the equipment. Uh, well, what should we try first? Should we just try this first? A little pale green, getting that, and then oh, you spill that good. on the you floor. Look at shakes. That's what happened once I started drinking this. Stop <laughs> drinking the booze. I can't uh, stop shaking. <laughs> oh, that smells true. Very nice. Okay, visually, there's some enucleation there. It's carbonated. It's bubbling up from the bottom of the cup. Oh. It smells kind of like, almost kind of like, rotting fruit. Oh, that smells very nice. I would not describe that as bitter. No. Qualitative analysis, not into it. You're not into not it? Not into oh, this. Okay. If this was like, oh yeah, you can have one of these if you don't want a beer, I'd yeah. be like, I'll just have a cup of water. water. I really enjoy it. And okay. I think I, I, I kind of got into it be, for the same reasons your buddy did. I did like, uh, you know, a brief, Dry January thing. Uh -huh. It was like humid January, you know. It wasn't the typical downpour January. Uh -huh. So I started with normal seltzer water. I, f I switched over to like the spin drift stuff, mm -hmm. and then I I did some NA beer, and then I found this. I drank it. Yeah. I drank it, and it was fine. But it's hard to justify mm -hmm. in my mind though the, the cost. price. Yeah, it's so expensive. Yeah, it's ridiculously expensive. I made I made this with Mount Hood hops, right? Yeah. I like the aroma on yeah. this. Yeah. It smells like like hops. Yeah. It's Earthy, danky. Yeah. That's nice. I think that's a good ratio. Whatever ratio you use. Hops to water. Uh huh. Yeah. Not bad. I like it. Yeah. Okay. I could. I'd much rather crush this all day at work on a keg than that, for sure. Like, I could drink. Like that, I don't know if I could slam yeah. a bunch of them. Like, if you came in and like, hung over on a Tuesday, like, I could probably down a good four or five of these, like, right when I came in. I want to say that th this yeast um, flocculated, big, big words here, uh -huh. beautifully. The stuff in the keg is the same as the stuff in here. I force carbonated the stuff in the keg with the CO2 tank. To carbonate this, I added a tiny bit of sugar and a tiny bit of yeast and let it sit for a week. And that yeast ate the sugar, made a tiny little bit of alcohol and some CO2. Nice. Looking good. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, very nice. Look at that. A little undercarbed mm. compared to the keg. Compared to the, the keg. Yeah. But it's there. The yeah. carbonation's mm -hmm. there. Whatever that yeast is doing really masks the bitterness. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't get any of the bitter notes that I got from the from the keg. We did a collaboration with White Labs a while back where we tested four different types of yeast and everything else is the same and discovered that yeast changes so much in in beer. So check that video out. I'm that adds a whole lot. Yeah, that's wild. Yeah. That's cool. I, I don't know, which one would you say you prefer? Hmm. I think I prefer the kegged. You prefer I think kegged. of the three options that we have here. It depends what I'm doing. If I'm just like trying to drink water, yeah. I think the keg like would be perfect like at work or you know, at home, like mm -hmm. just instead of a soda water or a soda or, or, or a beer even. Mm -hmm. uh, this, um, a little more mm. special occasion, you know, you're out there. Vaping, pick up one of these guys. You're vaping? <laughs> Wait, just, know, it's like a just like a vape uh, sommelier. Yeah, You're just gonna just, pair <laughs> various hop waters with various jewel I, pods. I, <laughs> when it comes to forest curbing versus uh, naturally carbonating in a bottle, I think for this, 
that that was pretty well balanced. Mm -hmm. This I think we'd I probably would want to add more hops to, to help out. Yeah, because you really get it with the uh, with, with the, the draft. Card. Yeah, yeah. I, like, I mean I like that one too. They're all very different. I mean I think that's the yeah. best way to say it. Like none of them are offensive to me. Make it and play with the hops. Like yeah. if you want something citrusy, get citra, get mm -hmm. mosaic. You know. Mm -hmm. Maybe even uh, some lemon drop if yeah. you're in the lemon, you know? I think 100% worth brewing your own if you're inclined to do something like that yeah. from a monetary standpoint. And from a taste perspective, I think it tastes great. Just as good as anything you're gonna buy from the store, from, in my opinion, as well. Yeah, and you can make it your own. Which is kind of cool. Yeah, yeah, totally. And it's a great way to experiment, like Ross is saying, with diff the different types of hops, just to isolate just the hops. Super fun project.